Yesterday, the government wanted to focus on outlining its plan for the fall session in the throne speech, but it's an invited guest that's pulling attention away from issues and stoking some anger from the public. Invited by MLA Lyle Stewart, Colin Thatcher, a former politician who served more than two decades in prison for the first-degree murder of his ex-wife, was in attendance for the throne speech. He was released in 2006 and continues to proclaim his innocence. Now, this morning, Lyle Stewart, the MLA for Lumsden Morris, released this statement. Each MLA is given the opportunity to invite a number of guests to the throne speech. It was my decision alone to invite Colin Thatcher, who is a constituent and longtime friend. In retrospect, that was an error in judgment as his presence was a distraction from a very positive and forward-looking throne speech, which included a number of new initiatives to keep Saskatchewan families safe in their communities. Now, this was brought up multiple times during today's question period. We'll have more on this coming up at 5 and 6. Now, as for the throne speech itself, there were a lot of changes announced by the government. From eliminating liquor retailing to the introduction of a new policing agency and a push for more economic autonomy. Wayne Mantica has those details. It's called growth that works for everyone. A throne speech highlighted by a plan to end government ownership of liquor stores. We're exiting the, the retail sector of SLGA. Uh, it's not a core business of government in our view. Law enforcement is another focus. Special constables have taken over security at the legislative building. And now, creation of a team of provincial marshals. You know, for instance, uh, we had a tragedy of James Smith here recently. Uh, they most certainly would be involved in, you know, something of that degree and wherever um, there is you know, hot spots or, or we need a, a significant presence or need a, 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 you know, a strong presence, stronger than what we might have on a temporary basis, they'll arrive. The throne speech was delivered by Lieutenant Governor Russ Morasti to mark the start of the fall sitting of the legislature. Other initiatives include legislation to legalize drinking in designated parks, a new trade office in Germany, new accessibility standards for the disabled, and the Saskatchewan First Act to assert jurisdiction over natural resources. During this session, we'll take action to protect and defend Saskatchewan's economy and Saskatchewan jobs from, co from constitutional overreach by the federal government. The NDP say there was nothing to help people deal with rising prices. Affordability, you know, too many people in this province unable to pay their bills. The Premier says $500 affordability checks are in the mail, but his government won't go beyond that until it knows how long high resource revenues last. Wayne Mantecas.